Um, yeah, we're going to see from the inside of all of this in just a second, but I kind of wanted to uh, to show the outside first so that you could kind of get a feel of how much work it took to clear all this out to where it would look like a castle and not just nether rack with tunnels in it. Um, I, I don't want to go too far over there because there's more windows and the more you can see inside, the less of a surprise it is. But uh, I'll try to fill you in on the kind of the backstory we had as we go. Um, basically there were three brothers that ruled the nether and each of them felt that they were entitled to rule the whole thing and two of the brothers got along uh, one brother who ruled basically with military strength and was kind of a traditional monarch uh, he got along very well with his brother who was the businessman, the, the industrialist, the, the basically the pirate of, of Wall Street, and they kind of formed an alliance. This is their two flags, the, the royal brother and the business brother, and uh, basically this whole area here and the castle further on, which I'll explain in a minute, uh, this is kind of their co-work of uh, agreement that they both, as the oldest and the middle brother, have more right to rule than their youngest brother. And sadly, their youngest brother does not yet have a castle because my friend and I were working on it, and we were working on the concept, and then Minecraft's multiplayer became super screwy, and we couldn't work on it together anymore. And working on this by myself has taken all of six years. So... Yeah, this is how far I've gotten in six years, but imagine how much further I would have gotten if I'd have had help. Also, you're going to notice that a lot of these rooms are not decorated, simply because who has time for decoration when you're busy building? But yeah, just a warning. Uh, again, I started this also when you could melt ice in the nether and have water. That's what that's all for. Now you have to code it all in, and I've actually forgotten the code for it so I won't be doing any building on screen but uh this was a dead end I built it straight down into what used to be the ballroom I don't know if I have changed the signs see this if you follow this back up you'll head to the the portal um but it's not a ballroom anymore I'm actually pretty proud of this room it's pretty aesthetically pr pleasing to me this is a banquet hall, and it's kind of mostly for business. You'll notice it's in the royal colors. So it's it's supposed to be pretty swanky, even though because of Minecraft's inability to make super cushy looking things, everything looks kind of mismatched. Whoops. Whatever. Um, let's see, to the exit walking down this way you come to the actual ballroom and the reason that's green is because it's supposed to be leading you that way back when I first started this signs were kind of a foreign thing to me I was not wanting to type all the way through my Minecraft world so colors just seemed like the more efficient way to go this is the actual ballroom nice big lovely stage business colors in here the business brother has colors in here that should be pretty pretty easy to figure out why that is because they work together on this project so one brother gets one room the other one's in charge of this room and he would be in charge of things like showmanship and business and, and entertaining whereas the other brother would be more of a uh, looking down his nose at you type the eldest brother this was a giant hole in the ground with nether rack above it about three blocks down, I think, you would hit lava again. I think that's how it is. Let me check real quick. Oh, no, I fixed that. Yay, I fixed that. Good. So it's not three blocks down anymore on most of this. Most of this is going to be solid now, but uh, everything up to and above those bridges was nether rack. And it has been completely demolished as well as the building a few times, but I've had to fix the building. 